Hey guys, what's up? Random Ginger here. Um, and today I'm going to be bringing you another tutorial. And this one is on the engines in FTB. So there are 10 of them in total. Uh, they come from the mods combined of uh, Buildcraft, Railcraft, and uh, Forestry. You can see it behind me right here. There's, like I said, there's 10. Um, and right now, I'll, be, I'll put annotations to where each of them are in the video. So you guys can go ahead and skip to those if you want to. Or just watch the whole video uh, to get an idea of which ones you want to use, which ones might uh, suit you best for what resources you have, or which you might want to set up. Okay, that's good. All right, so the first engine we have is the Red Sun engine. It's just one of the basic buildcraft engines, and what this is primarily used for is to draw items out of chests. Uh, like into transport pipes. So what we have right here is just a basic wooden transport pipe, which you would attach to a chest. Um, well, I'm not gonna. I don't have a chest in my inventory, but you would put a chest like right on this side, um, and you would you would see the pipe attached, so you would know that it's attached. And then this redstone engine um, would pull items out of the chest. And you can use other engines for that, but it's not really necessary. Redstone engine can do just that. But this is basically all it's good for because it doesn't produce very much power but you know it's at least useful for something so all you need there's not even any GUI with this thing I'm trying to right click all you do is power it and it'll start going it's slow at first and like with all these engines they'll change colors once they get to a certain speed uh, it starts out blue then goes to green then goes to yellow and then yellow flashing red and then to solid red and as it like yellow I think is optimum. Yellow flashing red means that it's uh getting pretty hot, dangerously hot, and then red means that it's in danger of exploding. And I don't think these ones ever actually explode. They might just stop working or like kind of poof, gone, go away. Um, but I don't think they ever actually explode. So we'll flip that off. You'll see the animation stop. Next we have a Sterling engine. Uh, which is also just a basic buildcraft engine. Uh, this one, oops, you just can't really click with that. This one, all you need is to put coal into it, and you got to hook it up to a wooden conductive pipe. And the wooden conductive pipe, kind of like the transport pipe, is used to draw the power out of the engines. So you'll see most of these en engines I have one hooked up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flip this on. You'll see it start, and all it is is coal in there burning. So if you have lots of coal, this might be a good option for you. Um, next, we have the industrial steam engine from the Railcraft, and this is kind of just another amped up version of this one. Is still on? Okay. Um, and what this one and this commercial steam engine, which is also from Railcraft, what they'll do is you'll have to use waterproof transport pipes, or yeah, waterproof transport pipes going from a steam furnace, I think it's called, which is a Railcraft thing, so you can look that up on that wiki, which I will link to right now in the annotations, and it will also be in the description of the video. But you'll pipe in steam, and the steam actually does have to go to like the bottom of these engines, so this side right here. I just have them facing up so that my whole setup here looks nice and pretty. Darn that electrical engine, making it ugly. Um, but yeah, what these, oh wait, yeah, okay, yeah, um, never mind, forget that I said, oh wait, no, I, I'm thinking of a different engine. So these two will then output electricity just like all the other engines when you have steam piped into their, uh, piped into their butt. And then, come to the hobbyist steam engine, which is kind of, um, me and, me and Ben, who, if you've watched my, uh, let's play, you've, you know Ben. We've kind of looked at these a little bit. Um, he looked at them first, and then I checked them out uh, because he told me that Hobbyist Steam Engine was pretty overpowered, um, kind of like an overpowered version of the uh, Sterling Engine, and it really is because it's literally the exact same thing except you put water into it, which, I mean, you can just put an infinite water pool and just, you know. And Oh, and the way you put water in is, if I just get a water bucket here... You just right click on it like that, and the water goes straight in. So that, uh, that bar filled up a little bit. 
So it's the exact same thing as the Stirling engine, but you just put water in. And uh, it, it won't start the animation right away like the other engines. It has to wait for this to burn a little bit. And then, after a little bit of waiting, I'll go ahead and set the time here. After a little bit of waiting, come on. Oh, there we go. Got it. So there it starts going. So have faith. Wait for the engine. I know I got frustrated with that my first time. Turn that off. Next, we have the magmatic engine, which just uses lava. I have lava cells here. I think you can use, or I know you can use buckets also. Um, so you put those in there, and that's all it takes. And then you just flip the switch, and it'll start going. Nice and fast. I'm not actually 100% sure that this one changes colors, but I'm I'm pretty sure because all the other engines do. I don't I don't know why the developers would change it on this one. Um, I guess it is a different developer. This one's Thermal Expansion and Thermal Expansion. Um, there's a wiki for it, which again or not again. I'll have all these wikis for all these different um, mods in the description, and I'll try to link in the annotations when the uh, engines come up. Um. Okay, so the thermal expan. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do the annotation thing. Um, that'll take too long, and I'm just a lazy guy. Uh, but you can just look in the description for those. That'll work well. <laughs> um, okay, so that's with thermal expansion. And so if you're using something like a magma crucible, uh, which is basically a device also with thermal expansion that turns cobblestone into lava, this might be helpful. And lava cells are nicer than buckets to use here because they're stackable. So you can just put a ton of them in there and then it'll just keep on burning. Yep, there we go. Um, what was song was I just saying? I don't know. Ah, uh, it's gonna bug me now. Oh well. Oh, there's a space between signs and walls. I didn't know that. Huh. That's interesting. Okay, so the combustion engine. Um, this one takes water and uh, lava cells. You just go. Oh, and the way you put in lava and water cells are you just put in water into a water bucket in here and it fills it up. Put lava cells in, or or lava again, or I think coal too. Maybe not coal, but I I think you can use coal cells or coal fuel cells or whatever, and also oil. So. Either of those. Th this is like the uh, top Buildcraft engine, but it's also the most expensive. Uh, and then Sterling is next, and Redstone, like I said, is the least powerful. So you can see that nice animation there. That means it's going. Next, we come to the electrical engine. And the, what the electrical, the, the, the electrical engine is used for is to convert EU, which is the industrial craft power units. Um, I guess it's probably called electrical units. That's probably what it stands for. Um, into Buildcraft Power, which is MJ, and I think that stands for Minecraft Jewels, or maybe Mega Jewels. <sighs> Probably Minecraft Jewels. Um, but what we have right here is an advanced solar panel, um, and it's not really doing anything right now, um, because the Arboretum isn't full or whatever. I think that's why. Um, but basically, you have a solar panel or something attached to the electrical engine, um, and I, uh, I never actually <laughs> figured this one out, so that's embarrassing for me. But um, you, ah, crap. Well, this isn't a very helpful tutorial on this specific engine. Um, but maybe you know what? I think I I found another video linking to it that I was too lazy to watch the whole thing of. <laughs> um, but I might just link to that one uh, right now in the annotations because I failed you guys in this one, I'm sorry, but some other guy did it justice. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that, but yeah, he'll get hopefully a couple more views, which is always nice, you know, caring or sharing is caring. Okay, next, uh, moving away from my embarrassment there, to the biogas engine. Biogas is actually what Etho uses in a lot of his videos. And um, it's basically biomass is uh, you can you can use what is it water honey 
milk, biomass, I think. Um, any of those four. And you just put the biomass in here, and it'll go on up. These are just biomass cells. Put those in there, it'll fill up. And then you also put lava in, because the thing with this engine is that it never explodes, but it does need a minimum running temperature to run. So, if I flip this on, you can see the temperature gauge raising, that's where the lava comes in. And then, once it reaches the height, then it'll actually start to pump. Alright, we'll turn that one off. Now we'll move on to the peat-fired engine. Peat-fired engine comes from the forestry mod. And it's really simple. All you do is you put peat in and turn it on. That's it. Go like that and it'll start burning and it'll create ash as a byproduct. Um, yeah, so that's uh, all the engines. Uh, hopefully I explained it well enough. If you guys have any questions, uh, that's annoying. If you guys have any questions or comments or anything, leave them in the description or leave them in the comment section, and I'll try and get to them as best as I can. If you guys like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, like it, uh, favorite it, do whatever you want, and subscribe if you want to see some more FTB tutorials, some more Let's Play, maybe a little bit more Redstone if I'm feeling up to it. Um, just basically whatever I feel like making. Um, or if you guys have something you want me to do, for sure, give me a suggestion. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Hope you guys liked it. And until next time, have a great day.